Have you ever felt trapped in an online service you no longer need? Maybe you've tried to cancel an account only to find yourself stuck in a labyrinth of customer support hoops? Well, today we're going to cut through the red tape and show you how to break free from the clutches of OnPay. OnPay, like many other online payment platforms, can be a convenient tool for managing your finances. But what happens when you decide it's time to move on? How do you ensure a smooth transition without any lingering charges or issues? Let's dive in and find out. Step-by-step -step guide. 1. Log into your OnPay account. The first step is to access your OnPay account. Open your web browser and navigate to the OnPay website. Enter your login credentials, username and password, and click the Login button. 2. Locate the Settings or Account section. Once you're logged in, look for a section labeled Settings, Account, or something similar. This is where you'll typically find options related to managing your account. 3. Find the Cancel Account option. Within the Settings or Account section, you should find a link or button that says Cancel Account, Deactivate Account, or something similar. Click on it. 4. Confirm your decision. OnPay might prompt you to confirm your decision to cancel the account. They may ask you to provide a reason for canceling or offer you a chance to reconsider. Be firm in your decision and follow the instructions to proceed with the cancellation. 5. Review cancellation policies. Before finalizing the cancellation, take a moment to review OnPay's cancellation policies. This might include information about any fees associated with canceling, refund eligibility, and data retention. Ensure you understand the terms and conditions before proceeding. 6. Provide necessary information. OnPay may require you to provide additional information as part of the cancellation process. This could involve confirming your identity, providing contact details, or specifying the reason for canceling. Follow the instructions carefully and provide the requested information accurately. 7. Complete the cancellation process. Once you've provided all the necessary information, OnPay should guide you through the final steps of the cancellation process. This might involve clicking a Confirm button or submitting a cancellation request. Follow the instructions on the screen to complete the process. 8. Verify cancellation. After submitting your cancellation request, you should receive a confirmation message or email. This confirmation will serve as proof that your cancellation has been initiated. Keep a copy of this confirmation for your records. 9. Review your account. To ensure that your account has been successfully canceled, log back into OnPay and check your account status. You should see a message indicating that your account has been deactivated or closed. 10. Address any remaining issues. If you encounter any problems during the cancellation process or have questions about your account status, reach out to OnPay's customer support. They should be able to assist you and resolve any issues you may encounter. Additional tips. Be persistent. If you encounter difficulties during the cancellation process, don't give up. Be persistent and continue to contact OnPay's customer support until your issue is resolved. Consider alternatives. If you're dissatisfied with OnPay's cancellation process or overall service, explore alternative payment platforms that may better suit your needs. Review your account regularly. Even after canceling your OnPay account, it's a good practice to review your account periodically to ensure that no charges or activity is occurring. Canceling your OnPay account doesn't have to be a daunting task. By following the steps outlined in this video, you can easily deactivate your account and move on to other financial options. Remember to be persistent, review your account regularly, and don't hesitate to reach out to OnPay's customer support if you need assistance. Have you had any experiences with canceling your OnPay account? Share your thoughts and tips in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more helpful content. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time.